we are in the cellar, which is underneath the Iron Duke Hotel, a famous pub uh, in the middle of Alexandria. And this cellar, I'm absolutely positive from what I've learned in the last two or three years, holds uh, many stories uh, and I'm sure there are ghosts right in this building, right in this cellar where we're sitting now, uh, of, uh, of past criminals who came here alive and never left alive. What, uh, what, let's just go back a step, what, what was the, the gang that, uh, that used this cellar? This cellar was basically uh, a godsend for a group of crims who got together and they became known as the Toe Cutter Gang. These guys were very smart crims, they were, and very clever, but they were led by a, uh, an English gentleman named Linus Patrick Driscoll. Uh, Jimmy Driscoll, or Jimmy the Pom as he was known. And this guy originally was involved with the, the, the Cray brothers in England, in London, in the east end of London. And uh, originally he was imported into Australia, or into Melbourne more particularly, by the Painters and Dockers Union back in 1967 to keep the peace down there. Now we've all read books and seen what's happened in recent times about the painters and dockers in Victoria. They've always been a troublesome group. And as I said, in 1967, Linus Patrick Driscoll was imported out to Australia, to Melbourne, and paid $1,000 a week. And that's a lot of money back in 1967 to keep the peace uh, between the two warring factions of the painters and dockers. 